So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to add your meeting notes in Loop into a Loop workspace for easier access. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Gavin Jones from MeTime. We will help organizations be more efficient, make their employees' lives easier, happening to use Microsoft 365 to do that. So if you need more help changing your entire organization, then book a call using the link in the description below if you wanna know more about our other resources, either for individuals or just more about our approach and check out some of the free training we've got in the links in the description below as well. But on to the video. So this is how to add loop meeting notes from Teams into a loop workspace. But before we just get onto that, let's have a look at why you might wanna do that in the first place. So if you've not seen the latest developments from loop that are gonna come out shortly at the time of recording this video, then check out this video next. But until those new developments come out, there's some ways we can help organize our loop workspaces and meeting notes together. If we don't do what I'm about to show you, then most people would schedule meetings from Outlook or just you know, not in a Teams channel. If you can get your meetings into a Teams channel, this makes everything else easier or irrelevant. And if you wanna check out some of how to just structure your Microsoft 365 to get the most out of it, then check out this video next. But that aside, say you were using your meeting notes and we went in and maybe we were even using the latest co-pilot for meeting notes and it's generating the meeting notes for us, which if you like me to make a video about that, comment below if it's already made, I'll send you the link. If it's not, if enough people comment, then I'll make the video and send you the link. Where it's in the Teams meeting, adding the meeting notes in for you so you don't have to type them. But if you do want to type stuff, you can just go and change it live and everyone else can see it and feed into the meeting notes all sort of collaboratively. So having Loop as your meeting notes is beneficial in that regard. What it's not great at is it just lives in the meeting. So very few people are going to bother and I, I struggle to find it even just coming into the video because Microsoft likes to move things around in their UI. So say I came through the chat and I want to get back to that. It's like, well, the meeting, where do the meeting notes live? It's like, ah, it's in recap and then it's in notes and then we may or may not have taken notes. So it's like you need to go into each, each one or you need to go back through your calendar and now calendar's sort of aligned with how Outlook looks. So then that opens a slightly different um, UI. So now it jumps out and the meeting notes are right there, but they're not there if you go through the chat way. So it's just a bit disjointed and probably there's no, no one's ever gonna take meeting notes in a meeting that's not in a channel because you just lose stuff in, in chat and all the assets to do with your meeting sort of live in chat and eventually that'll just drop off. So if you have got those meeting notes you wanna keep, they're just gonna disappear. So Loop tried one way to make that better by adding this new meeting notes section straight into Loop, but that, UI isn't great either. So here's, it's just doing it by week. So the latest week we've got some meeting series here and it's showing us all, all of the notes from the series. But you can see we haven't actually made any notes. This one we just added a task just to show uh, Microsoft 365 Accelerator Group how tasks and, and loop notes worked. If you're interested in joining that program, We've got a great offer for early adopters whilst we sort that program out. If you're interested in joining, uh, then book a call using the link in the description below. But see, most of these notes aren't even filled in and it's not showing me all of the meeting notes that I do have that are filled in. Then got to go back through by week to go and try and find the meeting notes that I want to go and see, but it doesn't show me when there's a meeting in this calendar. So then I've got to go to Teams, to Teams calendar, to find out when they are, and then go to Loop to go and cycle through the weeks to go and find where the meeting notes are. 
that makes no sense whatsoever and probably no one's doing that right now so i would imagine it's not a very well used feature to go back and try and find those meeting notes that way say we'd already got a loop workspace set up and we'll just create a new one now so maybe it's project xyz i think it might have already had a project x in a previous demo and we'll create that workspace we don't want to add any files we just want to create it and then now we've got pages and we can add whatever we need to do that project uh, by adding pages and stuff and, and files just like we would in an, a loop workspace but now if we go back to teams and create a new meeting and click more options we can start our loop notes before the meeting even starts by clicking this add an agenda button down here we can put our agenda in and if we click where is it shared to we can add to loop workspace so see we've got a little pop-up adding this component will link it to a workspace so you can start organizing collecting content great why didn't that happen before so if we click add to loop workspace and open up a separate item here and here we can then add it into our project and it just adds that as a page to our existing loop workspace so our meeting notes now linked but say we wanted to link the meeting notes we'd already got if we go back to this call where we had some ai generated loop meeting notes again we can click shared locations add to loop workspace and even once we've already taken if we didn't do it when we set the meeting up we can still then add it to our project and if we want to add anything else into our meeting notes we can go and do that straight from there so if you're interested in seeing all the new features coming to loop that's going to help it get better integrated into teams so you don't have to do what we've just described then check out this video next. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time a new video comes out. We've got lots more coming out on Loop and just how to get the most out of Microsoft 365. Thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you in the next one.